Welcome. In this screencast, we'll explore how to apply a discount to a Buy Now button. So let's start by going over to our PayPal account. I'm using our Sandbox. You can easily create a Sandbox account if you'd like at developer.paypal.com. And you can create lots of different test accounts. You can create sample buttons test out your functionality before you actually use the main live paypal.com website. Alright, now that I've logged in, I'll want to click on Merchant Services. And next, I'll click on the Buy Now button. And the first thing I want to do is give my item a name. I'm going to call it really fancy shirt and we'll give it a price of two hundred dollars. Now at this point you've entered the minimum amount of required information and you could easily scroll down and click the create button but we want to apply that discount so to do that we'll go jump down to step number three and click on customize advanced features and the first thing we'll want to turn on is allowing our customers to change the order quantities because we want, might want them to order more than one really fancy shirt. And the other thing we'll want to do is scroll down to the bottom and click the checkbox next to add advanced variables. Now before we delve into this I want to talk about how discounts work. Um, you can offer either a discount amount that's a, a flat dollar amount or a percentage. You can set a discount amount that applies to just a single item or it can apply to multiple items. You can also set a discount amount for the first item and then have a, a different discount applied to any additional um, items uh, for that shirt. So let's say uh, the first shirt is going to be 50% off the first shirt and 25% off any additional shirts. You can also um, indicate the total quantity uh, to which the second discount applies. Also it's important to note any applicable tax calculations occur after subtracting the discount. Okay with that out of the way Let's go ahead and set up our discount. I'm going to add a new variable called discount underscore amount and I'm going to set that equal to ten dollars. I'm going to add a second discount amount which is discount underscore amount two and set that equal to five dollars. And the last thing I want to add is a discount underscore num and set that equal to two. And this is how many times, uh, this is how many items that the second discount is going to apply to. So for example, if I were to buy um, three shirts, uh, the first shirt would get $10 off and the second and third shirt would get $5 off each. Uh, any shirts beyond that would not have any discount um, applied. So uh, we're all ready to go. Let's click the create button. And now we are returned to the page where we can actually select our button code. So we'll select it. I like to do a control C to copy that. And at this point, depending on where how you're hosting your website, you'll want to paste this um, HTML code into your website. I'm just going to use a straight up HTML editor, uh, in this case Dreamweaver, and I'll uh, go into this and I'll paste my HTML and do a control S to save it. And if everything looks good we can preview this in our browser. I'll click on the buy now button. And here we see we've got one shirt with a $10 discount. Now I'm going to change my quantity to two and click the update link to see how that affects the price. All right, so we've got $15 discount. If I change it to three, 
now I have a $20 discount. But I really, really like this shirt, so I'm going to buy 10 of them. I'll click Update. And as you can see, I'm only getting the $20 discount, even though I'm buying uh, multiple shirts. It, it only applies to the first three um, shirts uh, for this discount. Now, if you want to apply a percentage, uh, instead of a fixed amount, uh, we can return back to, uh, uh, back to our PayPal uh, website and go back to Merchant Services. I'll need to log in again. All right. I'll go down to my saved buttons because I want to edit the button we've already created. There's my really fancy shirt. Under actions I choose edit button. I'll scroll down and select customize advanced features. And what I want to do is just add a nice discount percentage of 50% uh, off. Instead of a discount amount, we'll change that to a discount rate of 50%. Let's go ahead and save that. Let's go ahead and preview this in our browser. And when I click the Buy Now button, we'll see we're getting 50% off, so it's actually $100 off, which is a pretty good deal. And that concludes how to set up a discount for your um, Buy Now button.